Welcome to my another online session. So today we would be talking about the food of Parsis or we can say the Parsi cuisine. Now if we uh, you know uh, talk about the PPT or the class, the session today, we will be talking about the historical background of Parsis, seasonal availability that they uh, eat in their cuisine, what are the special equipments that they use, what, is, what are the step lights and what are the festival and occasions cooking that they do. So let's begin with our class. Good morning and I am Chef Aditya Saxena from Chitkara School of Hospitality. Now if we talk about the historical background, you know, uh, Aryans or Aryanas that is being called, uh, that they used to say that the Aryans were from the central or the Iran region of Asia that came to India. Uh, you know, uh, the Persians, they followed the religion known as Zoroastrianism. Alexander the Great was also a part of, you know, part uh, where in the history where they, he has, uh, you know, conquered the region of Iran. The Caspian Sea is in the northern part of the Iran and in the south is the Persian Gulf. You know, uh, the Arab heritage came in the part in the life of the Iranian people. Uh, you know, when in around 1642 AD, the yellow region that you see here is the area where they used to speak the Persian or the area where the Persian influence was there. Now, you know, they traveled to India and uh, they landed in Gujarat and they were instantly, you know, accepted like sugar and milk with some conditions. There were some conditions that they laid and, you know, the, the king of Gujarat he accepted those conditions. So, there were two routes from where you know, uh, they landed. The first was they travelled from Iran through sea. They landed in Gujarat. From there, they, they moved to Mumbai and Pune. The other one was when they travelled through foot from Kabul, they came to Lahore and they settled in Delhi. So some also migrated from uh, from Gujarat to Delhi, and some came from Lahore to say. So that is how you know uh, the Parsis they came in India. Now, if we talk about Parsis, what uh, you know they think, what they do, what is their thing, uh, what are the things that they you know really like. The three things that they you know uh, follow is Unta which is good thoughts, Bukha, which is good words, and Uvarshita, which is good deeds, good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. These three, three things they generally follow. They don't eat beef. They are non-smokers. Somras means uh, wine. They, yes, they do drink wine. Uh, you know, when the Iranians or the Persians, they came to India, uh, or the Parsis, they came to India as a refugees, you know, they adapted uh, Indian cuisine also in their food. So, coconut, nuts, Indian gravies, they became a general part in their food, or in their regular diet. You know, uh, if we talk about apricot, it is one of the staple diet. Now, apricot is known as Zertalu. Parsi language. Then we have got Chinese date, which is known as Unnaf. Again, these things are used in desserts. They eat clams because they have seen in both north and south the reason. Again, they are settled around the seas. So they eat clams, which is known as Disri. Again, they have a Dekchi that uh, you know they use to cook food. Now again Kariso and put is what they call it. Boyu is the perforated strainer, that is mean rice strainer that they use. Tepli is the different kind of, uh, different sizes of bowls or uh, handies that they use. 
Pati was again a Patira that we called. Sadhana Nubasan is their lagan in which they cook their food. Poparji Nupanu is uh, the band that they use to make Poparji Nupanu. Poparji Nupanu is a potato, potato dish. Uh, this is uh, you know, a direct version of Indian uh, Indian Pama Panyan maker. The Parsi Staple diet, if you talk about Parsi Staple diet, they eat a lot of uh, non veg. They eat chicken, they eat mutton, uh, they eat fish, they eat clams, they eat all the sort of seafood in their uh, diet. They eat rice, they eat coconut, that has been adapted from the Indian you know, uh, climate, Indian food heritage. They eat eggs, they eat a lot of desi ghee, and mustard and peanut oil is. Uh, using their food, then there is a term known as salli. Uh, now salli is basically straw potatoes that they use uh, pretty much in their food. Now Parsi cuisine refers to the traditional cuisine of Parsis of India. Now basic feature of Parsi cuisine lunch is rice eaten with a lentil or a curry. Now lentil is all, can also be named as cancer. Curry is made with coconut and uh, it is being uh, you know, uh, thicker than rust. Rust is generally a concentrated form of uh, liquid. Now, dinner would be a meat dish often accompanied by potatoes or other vegetable curry. A uh, kachumbar salad is accompanied in Surabhi. Kachumbar is a sharp onion and cucumber salad. Also popular among Parsis, but less so elsewhere, are the typical Parsi egg dish, which include a puri. Now, puri is a scrambled egg preparation, uh, no, scrambled egg with spices, and the pura is Parsi omelet. Puri is scrambled eggs, and pura is Parsi omelet. Uh, also, the main course dish can be served with uh, an egg on top. So, these are you know, different uh, kind of food or staple diet that Parsi is generally. Festival and occasions now. Gurdadsal or Navre or Navroz is uh, one of the major uh, uh, festival which uh, is you know the Parsi New Year. They celebrate it, they you know, eat a lot of dishes and uh, they celebrate by going to uh, fellow Parsis uh, home and uh, gifting them some gifts. Now the food that they generally made uh, during is Malai no Khaja. Now the Malai is being you know stacked. They boil the milk. The, uh, the Malai that appears on surface, they take it out and they uh, place each and every batch of Malai on top of it. So it, they became it became like this flaky uh, sort of uh, you know, pancake. Then the Reli Machi is deep fried fish, which is being you know, eaten by putting some. Uh, green uh, olives and tomato sauce on top of it. Then we have got shooter fanny. Again fanny is you know a, a sort of uh, semia. Shooter fanny is the sweetened version of semia which is a bit a bit of dryish in nature. They, it is you know a sort of uh, if you say a uh, dryish sweetish fanny or sweet semia. Then we have got sali. This straw potatoes are known as sallis and it is you know uh, commonly eaten with uh, chicken or uh, mutton as a garnish or they are also cooked uh, with the same dish. The next one is dhansak. Now dhansak is generally you know a sort of uh, uh, you say sambar of boxes but this sambar is you know uh, contain mutton or chicken in it. So either it could be a chicken dancer or it could be a mutton dancer. So it could be either both. Then we have got faluda. Faluda is you know again a typical dessert. Uh, Rabadi, uh, you have got uh, rhubs or you have got uh, you know uh, glass noodles and kulfis in sabka mixture banakar tutti frutti and star uh, dry nuts add karke faluda which is you know eaten cold. 
then this is not worry. It is scrambled egg preparation. The way generally about how we uh, make uh, egg kurchi in our home is we make it a bit dryish, but the kuri remains a bit of moist. It is not cooked thoroughly. It is uh, you know 80 percent cooked and egg remains a bit moist. The next one is patrani machi. Now patrani machi is you know again a steamed fish which is being steamed inside a banana leaf and by applying a marinade that could be of ginger, garlic, green chili, coriander leaves and coconut. It is a green chutney with coconut ke flavor ke with some lemon juice or ke andar aapka fish ka fillet, boneless fillet is marinated or usko banana leaf in the lap with steam ke I, it can also be, you know, uh, pan secret. Next is zardalu murgi. Zardalu, as we know, is apricot. So the chicken you know, has a subtle flavor, uske spices ka flavor aega, but the sweetness that chicken will get is from uh, apricots. So again, a typical Persian or Iranian dish, this one Indian flavor diya gaya with some spices. Then we have got lagannu custard. Now this custard is baked in oven or is cooked. Just, uh, you know, a that is known as uh, lagan, or lagan samayi is baked and that is what is known as uh, lagan mustard. Next is our poparji. Poparji are small potato pancakes, potato ka batter banta hai rice ke saad, that is being cooked in uh, the special equipment yo poparji paano banane ke liye use kiya hai. That is a small, uh, you know, uh, potato and rice kind of balls and small small pieces of Italy's kind of thing jo generally as snack or breakfast consumed so this is what we are doing today for uh, this session hope you have enjoyed the session please stay tuned for more videos for more online classes till then thank you stay at home stay safe and wear a mask